this story, it's about 4,000 years old, and it comes from someone who made up stories about people. But to make people listen, he turned the people into animals. His name was Aesop, A-E-S-O-P, Aesop. And here's one of his many stories. Once in a jungle, the animals heard a roar so loud I can't make it by myself. Everyone, when I lift up my hands, please roar until my hands go down. Here we go. <laughs> Everyone make some zebra stripes. Zebra wondered, what was that? <laughs> now make gazelle antlers. I don't know, but it sounded scary. Now make a rhinoceros horn. You know what I think it is? I think it is lion. When rhinoceros just said the name lion, it made monkey and snake get so scared they couldn't speak. Monkey just went, everyone go, hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo. And snake went, everyone go. Sss. Now, giraffe stretched her neck over the trees and said, everyone, listen to me. I see lion in trouble. Rhinoceros said, good. Let lion stay in trouble. Lion is mean. And the gazelle said, I know what you mean. Lion tried to bite me. And then Zebra said, bite. <sniffs> Lion tried to eat me up. And Monkey and Snake went, hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo. <laughs> The animals agreed. No one wanted to help Lion. They said Lion was too mean, but squeak, squeak, squeak. Please hold up your mouse. Listen. I heard lions in trouble. So what about it, mouse? Well, maybe we should help lion. Why would we want to help a mean lion? Just because someone's mean doesn't mean we should be mean too. Mouse, what do you mean? I mean, maybe if we help lion, lion won't be so mean. Mouse, lion is too mean. Mouse, don't you dare go and help that mean lion. You'll get in trouble. Mouse, if you go to help lion, lion will try to eat you up. <laughs> but away went our mouse. Hold up your mouse and make her go. Now, mouse found lion sitting in a field with one paw up. Hold up your paw like lion. Oh, mouse, grumbled lion. I'm glad someone heard my roar. I need help, but not from a pipsqueak like you. I need help from a big animal. Lion, I'm afraid the big animals are afraid of you. What's wrong? What's wrong? I'm roaring because I stepped on a thorn. It's gone straight through my paw. And now I can't walk. Ow! Or eat. Ah! Or even sleep. Please get a big animal to pull out this thorn. It's like a giant splinter. Lion, I'm afraid the big animals are still afraid of you. I, I know. I know I'm small, but... If you let me, I think I could pull out that thorn. Oh, I suppose I'll have to try to get help from a pipsqueak of a mouse. All right. And Lion allowed Mouse to jump up upon that swollen, red, and bloody paw. Put your mouse on your lion's paw. And everyone, in lion voice, say, Oochie, ouchie, mousey. Oochie, ouchie, mousey. Say, Watch your big fat feeties. Sorry, lion. Now, mouse gripped the thorn in lion's paw and began to pull, 
and pull and pull and pull and pull and everyone say pop out popped the thorn but lion grabbed mouse by the tail and growled i'm hungry i'm gonna eat you up mouse lion please don't eat me why not i'm the king of the beasts i can do whatever i want but don't you want me to help you again what help Help me again? Ha, ha, ha. I promise, if you let me go, I'll help you again. Ha, 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 You, a pipsqueak of a mouse, help me, the king of the beasts, again? Ha, 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 ha. You were lucky to help me this time. And lion, by mistake, let mouse go. She ran back. The other animals shook their stripes and paws and paws and said, Mouse, you're lucky you got away. Mouse, you're lucky you're here to tell the tale. Mouse, you're lucky the lion didn't eat you. <laughs> now, time passed, and there came another mighty roar. Let's make it roar! What was that? It sounds like lion. I think it is lion. <laughs> Everyone, listen. I see lion. He's really in trouble now. He's tangled up, caught in a hunter's net. Oh, good. We'll let the hunters take away lion. Then we'll have no more mean lion to try to bite us. No more lion to try to eat us up. Squeak. Squeak, squeak. Mouse, what is it? Well, I'm wondering if someone will come with me. Mouse, where are you going? To keep my promise. What promise, Mouse? To help Lion. <laughs> but I made a promise. I, I have to go. And Mouse kept her promise and went to Lion. Everyone hold up your mouse. Keep your promise and go. Now Mouse found Lion, this time tangled in a hunter's net. Pretend you're tangled up in a hunter's net. Oh, mouse, I'm glad someone heard my roar. Please, find a big animal to get me out of this net. The hunters, they're coming, and they'll have bows and arrows. Lion, I'm afraid the other animals are still afraid of you. I know. I know I'm small, but if you let me, I think I can chew through that net. I'm very good at chewing. Oh, I'll try anything. Please, please, Mouse, climb my tail. Chew the net. And Mouse climbed Lion's tail. Everyone, pretend you're Mouse and climb Lion's tail and pretend you're Mouse and chew the rope net. Mouse chewed and 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 Lion said, Mouse, Mouse, hurry. The hunters, they're coming. And when they come, they're going to have bows and arrows. Mouse said, Oh, but Lion, my teeth hurt. Feels like my my head is going to fall off. Please, Mouse, everyone, let's keep chewing and 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 the net, which you may make with your two fingers locked, at last snapped. Just when the hunters came with bows and arrows, Lion, in one bound, went leaping over the hunters' heads and ran away. But Mouse was not as lucky. The hunters drew back their bows and arrows, ready to shoot at the mouse when there came. 
One more. Mighty roar. Let's make it, everyone. Roar! And the hunters ah! run away. And our lion, our lion came out and said, Mouse! Lion? Are you going to eat me? Am I going to eat you? Now that you have helped me, saved me twice? No, you're not. Mouse, there's something you must know. What? Mouse, you taught me something. I did. You taught me you are never too small to help. Oh, I like that. You're never too small to help. And Mouse, it would help if you could please forgive me. I'm sorry I was so mean to you and said I would eat you up. Would you forgive me, please, Mouse? Oh, lion, now that you ask, I forgive you. Oh, thank you, Mouse. May I make it up to you? I know. I'll give you a mousey back ride. No, a lion back ride. So everyone take your mouse and put it on top of your lion's head. And away went the two new friends. The other animals cried, I don't get it. I don't understand. What are they doing? <laughs> they didn't get it. But I know we get it. I know you know you are never too small to what? You're never too small to what? You're never too small to... And my good friends, that's the fine fable from Aesop, showing you're never too small to help, and no good deed goes unnoticed. And that's the fine fable of Mouse and Lion.